24th of May, we stepped into the theater to witness the Rajkumar Gupta directed thriller India's Most Wanted starring Arjun Kapoor. Many people were looking forward to it mainly because of its premise. The story is based on the capturing of Yasin Bhatkal, a terrorist notorious for being responsible for several blasts that took place in major cities across India in 2008. The film focuses on many aspects of how our official teams in this context, the intelligence bureau working undercover with little to no credit for their groundwork, barely getting any kind of monetary benefits, are still resilient and brave enough to catch individuals that are only causing carnage. What on the surface was a perfect premise for a thriller, a group of misfits infiltrating into another country to catch a terrorist, all odds being against them, sadly was a massive disappointment. Supposed to be a thriller, it rather induced boredom among audiences, despite having some great but brief qualities. Here's me telling you what worked and five aspects that led to its downfall. So without further ado, here is Tried and Refused Productions with five reasons why India's Most Wanted was a huge disappointment. But firstly, what worked? Appreciative performances. An aspect extremely tough to deny is that the ensemble cast put forth some extremely credible performances. What came across in the first look of the team seemed to lead to an assumption that they would not be memorable characters. But the entire team, each individual with their intricate personality traits, came across as genuine and even believable. You could imagine a team like that. Individuals who on the surface come across as ordinary men but possess strengths that benefit sensitive work at hand. Rajesh Sharma, who plays Prabhat Senior, mainly approving or ordering the team to execute certain processes, commands every scene and conveys his genuine concern for their safety extremely well. Even when it comes to Arjun Kapoor playing the role of Prabhat, despite mostly having a deadpan expression while going through a roller coaster of emotions and moments will surprise you with his performance. However, what led to the movie's downfall is much more technical than the actor's performances. Moments and characterization. Despite being an underwhelming thriller, the movie boasts of some moments that will stay with you after leaving the theatre. Be it the last conversation Prabhat has with his boss, stating how nervous he is, a sequence that will lead you to ultimately thinking that the mission is over, or the subtle yet beautiful trade-off between their informant as they have successfully completed their task. Some moments are truly brilliant. The last feature of the film which was extremely refreshing was that it strayed away from portraying individuals from other nationalities the same caricaturish way that Bollywood movies do. Nepali these informants, Pakistani officials all have human qualities and the director doesn't resort to portraying them like people we have never interacted with. They are fully capable of completing tasks and are portrayed as equals to the Indian team. It had become rather boring to constantly see Pakistani officials as inept and Nepalese and people of the northeastern descent in the racist way for decades. Now here's what did not work. Misplaced soundtrack. One of the most jarring qualities about the movie is the odd choice of the soundtrack utilized for the thriller. You will notice that the movie as it develops and look to yourself and wonder why the anxiety is not building up within you. The movie is really getting to the main capturing sequence. Why am I not on the edge of my seat wondering on how they are going to be successful on this mission? It's mainly because when the creators should have placed thumping and a fast paced beat, it resorts to the instrumental of Vande Matram as Arjun Kapoor runs in slow motion. The cars are moving in a fast pace trying to escape but the same sing-song tune would play. Imagine the Uri battle taking place and the thrilling soundtrack it was supported by, now just replace it with a song you sang in the school choir. That's how misplaced it was. Screenplay Another huge problem with the movie is the screenplay. Now let's see from a technical aspect what does that entail. It would not only include the dialogues but the movement of the actors and in some cases even include the soundtrack. What we noticed especially in the second half of the movie was there was a lot of staring and I mean a lot. Moments where you would assume the thriller to have an active back and forth of movement. There's just long shots of deadpan staring. From a narrative standpoint as well the chase sequences and the ultimate development of the capturing is very lackluster and doesn't develop an emotion within the audience audience of what's going to happen next. The absence of thrill. The most memorable qualities of some of the most celebrated thrillers include the shock value of the multiple twists and turns. The sad bit of the movie is that it is designed in chronological order, so you are perfectly in sync with the plot developing. The movie with its premise never really challenges you, which takes away from the beautiful aspects of any thriller. A movie like Andhadhun kept you guessing till the very end and changes timelines multiple times to show you what actually happened, sometimes even showing you the same scene from different point of views. Even a commercial thriller like Race, despite having its haters, made you question every single character's intention. You as a viewer couldn't trust anyone. This movie, from a storytelling standpoint in contrast, is very simple. Finally, 
underwhelming conclusion and let down direction the final conclusion of the movie is so underwhelming that you also start questioning whether the director was trolling us throughout its journey the antagonist is developed in such a menacing manner that you feel the final encounter is going to be intense to the power infinity but what ends up happening is you start cackling and laughing at the lack of evil that the man possesses it's like when you see the products on amazon and they look very impressive on the website but when the product lands up you're like acha ye khareeda tha maine finally it was a definite let down that this was a rajkumar gupta product the blame should not go to arjun kapoor for this movie's underwhelming impact the movie is just not designed well as a thriller to excite audiences a man known for a gem like amir and even an impressive thriller like raid surely did disappoint us with this film and that was the video guys write down in the comments below of what you thought about the movie please don't forget to follow me on instagram the handle is right in front of you follow me at jammy pants4 also please support us by smashing the like button and subscribing to our channel for weekly content ahead thank you for watching